Hello, I'm Bird and welcome to Season 5, Episode 5 with Real Oviedo here in sunny Spain. It's absolutely lovely and it's absolutely lovely to see you too, my friend. If you're in a good mood, do all the good stuff for me. I know you feel generous. Hit that thumbs up. Get involved in the comments. I will get back to all my comments eventually. I'm running behind a little bit. I've been very busy. I will do. I promise you. Um, if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Come and join the family. Make sure you hit that bell. You'll never miss any of my videos or any of this series. And hopefully you won't go missing because I'm loving it. I can't lie. This season has been an absolute joy, right? I say that quite often. But, um, you know, we're a little real of you, don't we? We ain't got a ton of money, but I've been able to do, I don't know, I, I think some magic in the transfer window. But how well will we do on the pitch? That's where it matters, isn't it, my friend? On the goddamn pitch. Let's find out. So here we are now, and it's the 16th of August, and everything's been done player-wise. And it's quite a few new players have come in. I think after this, so I'll tweet the staff, I get a few extra slots. I improve it even more. The coaching team is still the best. It's even better. It is a dream. I love that. All right? But we've got 14 new players into this squad. Now, you might have noticed last year, I had a 21-man first team. But with Europe, I wanted a 25-man first team. I wanted to maximise my first team. So, 14 new players, although four of them, check this out, dog. Listen to this. I've been promoted from the youth team. I needed them for the European squad, but they've got a bit of potential. They might get a few games. I was really excited. Like, really excited. Got some cracking players. Some on loan. But wait till you see. So, these are the finances at this stage. You see my wage budget's up. I'm currently spending 895 on the on the entire club, obviously. I've got nothing to spend, nothing left. Um, but I'm really happy with 61 million in the bank. We made some big sales, and I'm going to show you a couple. First off, it's one that I didn't want to do. It's Marcel Savitza, who had one year left on his contract and said to me in the summer, I'm going to be looking at my options at the end of it. And I thought, right, okay, put him up for sale. He went to Hoffenheim for about four and a half mil. Couldn't say no to this one. 11 million, He's a de he was a decent player. Played quite a bit for me. I even call him a squad player. 11 million, thank you very much. Again, couldn't say no to this. He was great, remember? He had a great season. He's not really, I don't know, I wanted to improve and I think I've improved in his position. We've got about four million for him. Signed on a three, sold for just short of five mil. Saw my goalkeeper for 2.8 million because he wasn't playing. And for potentially 325 grand, the hero that is Borja Baston has left us. Gone to Genoa. Fair play. Quite a lot of clubs came in for him. There were about six. That's where he's chose to go. We thank him for his service. Now there is a couple more. Fula on the back up left back. Couple of bit time players. Couple of B team players. But yeah, I'm really happy with what I've done. So he became your number one keeper last year and he's still going to be my number one keeper for now. It's tennis. Ivan Belasteros. Check him out. From the youth team, going to be my backup goalkeeper. It was a risk if Tennis got injured. Is this kid really ready? Probably not. I want him in the first team. I want him learning. And he probably was going to bite me in the ass at some point. We'll see you later. Now, in the centre of defence, he's probably my weakest um, position, to be honest. But we've still got Lion Co. Is that how you say his name? Lion Co? Lion Co? The Brazilian. Katina. He's still a 31-year-old. Decent player to have around. Martin Pasquale. Yeah, he's all right. I really wanted to improve at the back. Struggled to the point where I've bought a 35 year old for about a million quid. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but he's got experience, old head and wide shoulders, veteran. He's 32, but he's a very good player. And we sorted out his contract. He's staying at right back, but will probably be my backup this year. Because for 3.2 million, I've signed Alessandro Pozo from Almeria. Great little player. Now, I don't know what it is with me, but I found a left back. Do you remember him? Was it Garcia? What was he called? Do you remember him? Sold him to Dortmund for 15 and a half million. In La Liga 2, comes to us, has a couple of great seasons, gets interest, makes money. Um, this was a similar situation. Got him from Girona and he's wanted right, by a team in Saudi Arabia. Man City coming for him. I don't sell him, but Man City want him in January. My new backup left back and centre half is Janicki, right? Signed on a free from Ghent. I mean, he's got great potential. He's fickle, but he's decent, you know. And then promoted from the youth team is Jose Jimenez. Again, bit of potential, very handy to have, can play left back and centre half. 
definitely a squad filler but he might improve. Big G's still here. He's 33, but he's still got bags of ability. He's still a good player. I think he's still good to have in the team. And everyone loves a man from Switzerland. I do. I'm in love with a man called CP. One of my friends. Legend. Sante Comisana. He's still here. The Spaniard. A good player. Good squad player. We've signed, though, Nicolo Fagioli. Released by Juventus. I think for a club like us, he's a good, solid, decent, handy central midfielder. And then on loan. No, I've never heard of this kid. But, right, I think my scouts must have noticed him because he was at Villarreal on loan, Bristol City, and um, but he's a United player. He's actually played in the Premier League for United, not much, he looks like a couple of games, um, and then he was available on loan. His contract runs out, and I'll say it now before we forget, in January, I offer him one and he accepts. So he's on loan this season, but he'll be signing next season, and I think the 22-year-old Englishman is really good. Now, I was shocked he was available. Pablo Torre is a good player. Um, available on loan. And in Spain, you can do the two-year loan thing. So I tried it, and they said, yeah, he's ours on loan for two years. Now, another amazing player was available on loan, and I put an offer in, and Barcelona accepted, and I had an erection. And then he turned us down. Ansu Fati. Ansu bloody Fati was available on loan. Imagine I got him. Now I've signed this lad for a combined fee of 8.5, which is quite a lot for us. Quite a big chunk of change for a club like us. But he's good. Doesn't mean he's going to be playing a lot of... I've spent a lot of money on probably a squad player, really. But he's got loads of abilities. Passing technique, first touch, his flair. I mean, he's brilliant, really. Promoted again from our youth team. Someone with a good amount of potential. It's Ivan Minano. Again, raiding the club I love the most, Manchester United. I've never heard of this kid. Come from Dynamo, United have signed him. He's played a little bit for them. Again, made available on loan. It's only for a year, this one. Um, but he's got years left on his contract, so we won't be signing him on a free. Maybe we can get him back on loan, because I can't see him playing for United unless we really develop the little Croatian, but what a player. We still have Vallejo, who I think is great and actually helps out up top at one point in this season. His contract's coming to an end, and my coaches say he's not good enough to offer a new one. We'll see about that. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. Kang in Lee just sells shirts for fun. He's number one again. Shirt seller. So you've got to keep that. Ad. But he's a good player. He's wanted by Colm, I think, in Germany. He ain't going. Now, I'm not sure about his name. Is it KK? Little Brazilian, 23, from City. Released from City. Got him on a free. He was at Getafe last year, so he's played some football out here. He knows the country. I mean, I got him as a squad, as a backup right winger, really, as a good player. Um, he's left footed, which is good. I quite like that. But he kicks off because I didn't strengthen the goalkeeper position and then puts in a transfer request. Yeah, he might not be here too long. Next up, we've got Carlos. I think that's the fourth and final young striker who, I don't know who he's wanted at the start of the season, but in January, Everton, in January, Aston Villa try and buy him. Cheeky bastards. I mean, he's good, isn't he? He's got a bit of potential. But that quite, I was shocked by that. Of course, we've still got Fernino. He is very good for us. Scores goals. All he spends a large majority of the start of the season injured. So he doesn't play for quite a while. Um, but he gets back. And he gets scoring. And I like the kid a lot. And, well, we signed him on a free. Which is insane. And he's only 25. I mean, he's been called up to the Spain squad a few times. Still hasn't got a cap though. But this next one. This next one. He's brilliant. I made a video with him recently, playing to the grave, where we uh, made him play till he was 90 odd years old. He's still a wonder kid, right? And last year, was it in the Real Madrid team? They put him in Castilla, who were playing in La Liga 2 and got relegated, but he was still the best number one striker on the Media Dream team, and he did okay for them, called every other game ish. It's freaking Hendrik. Two year loan they accepted. Two year loan. And. Just before like September, maybe he becomes an EU Spanish citizen because he's been here two years or whatever it is. So that's quite cool. I can't believe I've got Hendrik on loan for two years. <laughs> Brilliant. Although Real Madrid, I'll be honest with you, yeah, they signed Jude Bellingham for 102 million. They signed Declan Rice last year for 81 million. And they've got Osimhen up top, Junior on the right. I mean, that's what I'm up against. Barcelona. Signed him. You know the guy from Napoli? Can't say his name. We're crap ton of money. Did it say 61 million? Absolutely. Mental. Bought the bookies odds. We've gone up again a little bit. Ninth. I think what we 11th last year. Um, but I feel alright. I feel good. Who's Ganotto? I 
Apparently, whoever he is, he hasn't got a face. The young Italian, played for Leeds, is the best striker in the league. Never. So I am going back to my favourite formation. No defensive midfielder because I've got so many attacking options. We're going back to having a guy behind the striker. And I think it'll be alright, Matt. Like I said, my only worry is, if Tennis gets injured, we're screwed with Ballesteros, maybe. Um, Centre-halves, a bit shaky. I like my full-backs. I love my midfield. I think it's good. I think the attacking players are really good. I've got lots of options. So hopefully, if we shit at the back, we can outscore them. Now, I don't tell you here, but they decided to put in under soil heating over the summer. Spent a few million on it. And um, they won't let me do anything else with the training facilities. I haven't even got the option to ask. Um, but under soil heating in Spain. Do you really need it? We're getting it. Um, and halfway through the season, they decide to buy the stadium. Or they'll start the process of buying the stadium. Which is good, isn't it? So, of course, I've had pre-season. We had a training camp in Mexico. So, we played a few teams. Won a lot of games. Really good. Um, now, I did make the Budathon. But right before it, and this is quite weird... One of the games got cancelled because of a European fixture. And last year they just cancelled then they had to build a new tournament. This year they just turned into friendlies. So you can see Austrian Vienna and Salzburg were part of the Budathon tournament, which I've not been able to play now for two years. Cheeky bastard. So you know it went alright, it was okay. Tried a few different players out. Um but I'm looking at the start of that season again, thinking until Barcelona we could pick up some points, but how well will we do? Well, not bad. But don't forget, it's not just about La Liga. Obviously, I'd love to be up there again, battling out, especially for a top four. It'd be great. Because I think we're better, way better than we were last year. And um, we're in the Champions League. Last time I was in the Champions League, what did I lose? Six, draw two. We were shit, second from bottom. So let's try and win a game. We'll have a look at that later. Copa del Rey got to the semi final last year, got knocked out by Betis, who I'm playing in the Super Cup in that little tournament which is quite cool. We'll see how we're doing that as well. So when it comes to the staff, there was a few little tweaks to do over the next couple of weeks, but the coaching team I've done here, got a performance analyst I could stick in possibly, but it is immense. Like I brought in two coaches to work on our weak areas. It were, it were brilliant. So that's always an advantage. But is it? How's this new team of mine going to do? Let's jump forward to Jan and find out. Well, check that out. Second in the league. Uh, Real Madrid have got a game in hand and us. We're level on points with Real Madrid. I've only lost two. I've drawn one, one fifteen. They've been brilliant. In La Liga, they've been absolutely br brilliant. It's so... Playing through it, you know, I don't... A lot of it I do on commentary to get through the season, but, you know, big games, good games, rivalry games, I'll play in key highlights. And you could just tell, like, some of these young players, especially the ones I've loaned in or grabbed on threes, I've been brilliant. My defence has done better than I thought it was going to do. It's been all right. Except by this time of the year, my worst nightmare came true and my goalkeeper got injured out for five weeks, potentially. So I do sign a goalkeeper. Um, I have to wiggle the wages around and I buy an oldie. I think he's 35. He's all right because we needed him. About a million quid. We'll have a look at him later. But these are the results in the league and we started off fantastic. Look at that. Win after win after win after win. We even drew with Barcelona. And check that out for heartbreaking. Nearly beat Barcelona. And um, beat Athletic Madrid. 4-0. Got beat off Bilbao. I've rotated a bit. Obviously Europe. I've even rotated in Europe a little bit. Um, that was a bit of a shocker. Um, but it is what it is. Do you know what I mean? But then look at this. Look at that. Only can see two. Loads of clean sheets. My defence has been balling out. But then obviously we lost our keeper. And money's gone up. I'm not losing any. The club is running super smooth. Obviously Champions League helps that. But what a great place to be in. So this is a squad arranged by average rating. And it's fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Because they've just been great. Fernino came back scoring goals. He is wanted by Wolves uh, Gutierrez I've got City like I told you man bloody City and he's unhappy because I rejected it <laughs> new one uh, Torre buzzing we've got him for two years oh, what are Barcelona doing obviously my goalkeeper's injured but he's been really good uh, Endrick um, started the season can't play the next game I think because it's Real Madrid I think yeah um, up front but then on the wings he's scoring goals Alex Scott is brilliant now he's wanted at the minute Alex Scott by Wolfsburg and Atletico end of contract but I do offer him one and he accepts us because he loves it he says he's loving life he loves the atmosphere create a good vibe man chilled um, he's been great my young freebie from Belgium left back has been great when he's played 
Um, he's been good. I can't. I mean, it does come together. They're a bit younger, got a bit more talent, and they play some really good football. So one thing I will say is before we jump forward to April and look at the Champions League, Super Cup, and a few other things, is my wages are a bit maxed. I haven't got any room in it, and we have an excellent youth intake, and I can't offer some of them contracts, which is a bit wounding. I'll be honest with you, but. It is what it is. I mean, obviously, it's the 1st of Jan, but by April, things are changing. I think we start overspending on wages. I don't know how, but we do. And um, I even loaned out loads of my B-team players up, up at the start of the season and so on to try and get the wages down a little bit. And I mean, you can see our squad salary went up 200 grand a week from 625 last year. And I'm only spending 700, but I can't. It's so frustrating because some good ones and obviously we've been having good ones and I just wanted to keep that factory of youth coming through. So we'll see. So it was Lino or Leno, whatever you want to call him, is the guy I signed. Not the best in the world, but a solid, experienced German 35-year-old goalkeeper going from Fulham for about a million quid. So that didn't help. That's probably what stopped me signing some of them youth players, but I needed a goalkeeper. I could not go potentially five weeks with Ballesteros, who's decent, got potential, but seriously, seriously. And I signed him just in time, I think, um, for the Super Copper. Where, of course, we played Real Betis in the semi-final. What a game. What a game. Went to penalties. Look at that. Missed goals and everything. And we went through to the final. I had a, I had a final. It's too early in the season now. I ain't got the time of the, in the day this time to sit here all day. Too many jobs to do. And we got beat of Real Madrid. Look at Scott. Standout. Standout player. 4-2, um, to be fair. Look at the Real Madrid team. They played Declan Rice at centre half, but then you've got Camavinga, Bellingham, him as well, I can't say his name, but he's class. Hoyland, they've got Hoyland as well, who always turns out really good on there for some reason. What about the Champions League? Look at that! Look at that! Right? Wow. Last time, we were second from bottom. This time, second at the top. Runner-up, or whatever you want to call it. Complete mirror image of our shitness last time we were in it. So I was very proud of that. But then I had to play Manchester United, Ruud van Nistelrooy's team, in the first knockout phase. Obviously, you bypass around, don't you? And Man United didn't bypass around, don't you? If you notice, we were about 11 for 12. And I thought, oh, we have a good chance here. We were second. We are flying high. But no, we lost both games, got battered 4 0 at Old Trafford. Back to our place, 2 1. Can't play too many players, obviously, because they're low on loan for Manchester United. But look at that, though. Look, at, I mean, Anderlecht beat them. We beat AZ. We got beat off Bayern, and that's fair enough. Drew with Monaco, decent. Olympiacos battered them. Marseille was a brilliant game. I didn't think, you know, I didn't think we'd do it, but three nil. And then this was brilliant. Beating Liverpool at Anfield is always pure joy. Endrick, look at that. I've got Endrick in my team. Uh, and then Benfica 3-2. So we did brilliantly. I mean, I know we got knocked out. I know. But we did really, really well. And you may have noticed as well at this time, 17th of April, we are third in the league. So, you know, we're only nine points away from uh, Real Madrid. Barcelona, three points ahead of us. Uh, Wilfred Gnonto. I was slagging him off at the beginning because I did know. He ends up being up there for goals. Fair play to him. Never heard of him, I'll be honest with you. I know he played for Leeds, did he? But I don't get it. I don't know him. Don't care. Um, but yeah, this is why this league's mad though, because Elche was shit. Last year were great. This year, they shit again. But what about the league? How have we been doing? All right. Got a bit off Valencia. Not great. Got a bit off Atletico Madrid. Not great, because we beat them, didn't we? I think, was it 4-0 early on in the season? This, that's a significant thing, that I can batter them. And then they can beat us, but we still score goals against them. And that will be huge. Because we are playing them at the Spotify Camp Nou in Barcelona in the Copa del Rey final. It's the live comp. It's super exciting. And we're happy with it. I mean, I'm pretty sure at the start, I um, B-teamed it. Because who were they? Nearly balls it up, let's be honest. Ballesteros got a game. Um, then we beat Real Sporting, which is always good to do. And we beat Villarreal, which is really good. Levante was a close one. Look at this. 3 nearly in the first one. Great, great performance. I'm thinking, we'll be fine here. Easy. But of course, got a bit twitchy bum timey. And I did put in a few players that haven't been playing. Only a couple. Um, to mix it up a little bit. 
thinking I'm 3 0 up, um, and I was a bit worried, to be fair. But we did it. But we're going into this game, the biggest game probably in the club's history, and I'm pretty sure it's, one, it's up there anyway, isn't it? Very excited. Um, with Fernino injured, Pablo Torre knackered. That's probably my only issue, isn't it? As you can see, Alex Scott, his deal's gone through. Joining Real Oviedo, good lad, the third best player. Hendrick can go up top, can he? I think he can, yeah, so we'll be fine. Maybe. Fingers crossed, come on. Channel, channel something towards me, into the camera. Because I don't want to lose it. Now, we'll be honest, I am taking risks with my team. Now, they're a good team, got some very good players. Um, because we've got a lot of fatigue from previous a previous game it was quite close um, my left winger um, a few in the middle a few at the back I've had to make changes I didn't want to make I'm taking risks I didn't want to make my assistant manager worked to power a completely different team so I'm hoping I'm right and he's wrong so let's go let's hope I'm right we need a performance like this guy obviously Alina not played as much but I've got Scott who plays there I've got Torre who plays there but he's still a very good player can he show me his worth in a cup final Endrick is Endrick. So when we've got him on this in the team, we've always got a chance of scoring goals. And um, I've got a bit one of my kid at centre half, who's can cover at left back. Who's played quite a lot there. There you can go, Janicki. Uh, but Gutierrez is at left back. We'll see. It's not the team I wanted to play. Go, oh, oh, fuck you now. You know, in an ideal world, they'd all be fit. But you know, these big games, big big games. Um, still competing in the league. I couldn't really beat him in previous game. Didn't want to. Um, so we'll see. You can see like the hearts, can't you? Yeah, with Scott. Uh, Ru Rukavina. Rukavina. He's knackered. But then I've got the, the options on the bench. Vallejo can come on. Fagioli can come on. There's a few options. We'll see. Just want to see how we do in the first half. And it's not started very well. 1 0. Jose, you. So I don't know if you know. Many of you may know. I've been on a weight loss journey this year. I've lost three stones since March. Um, lot oh, referee. Is a red. Oh, from hero to zero. Love it. But over the last couple of weeks, I've joined the gym. I used to be quite a gym head in my late 20s before I got older and had kids and got married. Um, but I've been going every day and I've got re right back into it. Leg day yesterday. Can't really walk. My hamstrings are killing me. I did my boobs today. Just going to keep going and keep going. So I get in good shape. Not just for me, but it's for my kids really. I can't be the age I'm at and be a big fat dude. Can't move about. Can't wear good clothes anymore. And that's one thing I've been doing the last few months while I've lost the weight is just, you know, buying nice stuff, good brands, good clothes, and it's such a good feeling to wear stuff and look good. Very exciting. If you ever want any tips, get in touch. I'll give them you happily. All right then, I've made four changes. Brought up all the tired guys. Uh, so Vallejo's come on. Uh, we've changed the central midfield. We've got Fagioli and Comasani, Comasani, Comasuni, whatever his name is. Um, he's on as well, Lion Co. Janicki switched to left back as Gutierrez wasn't 100% either. So, you know, we're fresh here now. I thought I'd give the boys a go. Go on, Andrew, get it in. Come on. Come on. We're against 10 men. We can do this, Real Oviedo. Come on. I'll tell you what I am buzzing about. I might have mentioned I got a lot of miniatures in a previous video, but these, right? Get them from Superdrug. I put me on labels on so I know what they are. We've got Victor Rolf, Spice Bomb, Izzy Miyake, and Jean Paul Gaultier Excelsior. £5 each. 60 mils, the last ages, for fiver. Take on holiday, different smell every day. Hey, you can take them out, can't I? Keep fresh. Not that I need to keep fresh for the ladies, I'm a happily married man. I'm not doing any of that, I'm not an asshole. I'm a very good, loving husband. Um, but I do like to smell nice, and it's when you get new ones, it's good, isn't it? Big fan, big fan of Jean Paul Gaultier, this new one, Excelsior. I think I might buy that in the airport properly on my way home. Um, buzzing with it, honestly. And I'm happy-ish with this. We've got 22 minutes left and I've still got a sub to use. Do I need to use it though? Not yet. Let's not use it yet. No, no. Ooh! What a save. Now, my sister wants me to make changes. I think he wants Martinez on. I'll save that in case we've got extra time. Um, he also wants to take Endrick off for young Carlos. I'm not taking Endrick off. We need a goal. That's probably where it's going to come from, isn't it? Oh, come on, boys. Come on. Come on. You can get this. Come on, Jenicky. I believe in you. I do. All right, come on, boys. Fagioli. Freebie from Juventus. I think I've had him before, you know. Pretty sure. On something. I play that much. I've done that much. 
I'll morph into one sometimes. Anyway, come on, lads. Come on. Come on. We can do it. Come on. I've got a good feeling about this. I really have. Fagioli. Come on. Alina's picked it up. Lays it off. To oh, you bugger. I really want a trophy. I want, I want a trophy. I want a proper trophy. Not a Budathon bloody trophy. I want a real one. I mean, the Super Copper would have been nice, but it's Real Madrid, isn't it? Real Madrid got not. I'll show you the rounds, actually. You're probably wondering where's Barcelona and Real Madrid. I can't believe it. I think one of them got knocked out dead early by someone shit. Probably not taking it serious, maybe. I don't know. Concentrating on Champions League. A um, bit disappointed. I thought we could do better against United, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, 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 no, no. Why is the referee always on my case? What was wrong with that? Hey, it don't matter. Who gives a shit? And that's why you don't take Endrick off. Bloody genius. And we've got him for another year. I mean, they don't need him. They've got Hoyland. They've got Hossiman. You didn't get a sniff. You didn't get a sniff. No, 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 no. Come on, defend, defend, defend. Concentrate. No! That well looked like it was going in, but there's a block. I'm surprised, by the way. Look at the stadium. How empty it is. Bit embarrassing, really, isn't it? Oof. Oh, it's not over. It's not over. It's still in play. And then, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Watch it, boys. These guys who dish out the awards might try and kiss you. Do you know what I mean? You never know in Spain, dodgy bastards. But yeah, chill out. Oh man, that's put me in a right good mood. I've had a great day today. Been busy, busy, busy. Um, and I'm busy, busy, busy all day. But I've got to make this video now. But yeah, I've, I've really been looking forward to this. And there we go. Stayed up mega late last night, you know. Getting to this point. Mega stupid late. It's worth it. Worth it. I'm going to make a brew now. We've got the rest of the season to get through. Look at that. Copper bloody Del Rey. Copper Del Rey. Can we stay in this top four and keep uh, this Real Oviedo train rolling in Europe? Hopefully we can. Although I won't mind a bit of Europa League. So then here we are. It's all over. And as you can see, maybe we had cup final blues. Fucking bit worried. I'll be honest with you. Um, we got beat off Betis. Then I got beat off Deportivo. Then I drew with Levante. But we battered Espanyol. 4-0. Real Madrid. We got battered. And I've just beaten Real Sociedad. 4-2, leaving us, as you can see, in fourth. You know, we've dropped down a little bit, but we've had a big season, European football. Uh, cup final win, which is amazing. Um, and we're still in the Champions League, so it gives me the finances. Hopefully we can grow. You know, we've still got two fantastic players on loan for another year. Scott's coming to join us. Maybe I can get that young winger back as well for United because I think he was great. Maybe I can get more loans. Maybe I can even sign more gems. I don't want to go down the oldie route unless there's an absolute worldie available to me. Um... And we'll see, but I really feel positive and I really want to do another one. In the back of my mind, I was thinking if I win a major, um, I'll end it. But I think I'll definitely do one more. So we've got 52 in the bank. It is what it is. I've got 14 to spend and I've got some room in them wages. And hopefully the squad wages will go up again. They should do. They went up 200 grand last season. This is the final look at the squad arranged by average rating. Some fantastic players. Buzzing Scott's coming. He's my second best player. He was a baller for me this year. Goals wise, obviously, Hendrik Nino, who's obviously injured, missed the back end of the season. Um, Scott's contributed massively. So did he. If I can get him back, brilliant. But obviously, he's mine. He's here for another year. He's here for another year. Well, there we have it. That is the end of the episode. As always, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Your view is the most important thing. But if you feel generous, hit that thumbs up because it helps. Comment because it helps. And I will get back to all my comments, I promise. I always do. Um, I've just been, like I said, I've been, there's a lot going on in my life. And obviously, I've been playing a lot of football manager. Um, but honestly, I appreciate you. I really, really do. And hopefully, you won't go missing and you'll come back for the next one because it could be the last one because I really want to try maybe another little series before FM23 finishes I, I'm just trying to time this right I might I don't know because I'm going to Benidorm I might just push this to Benners I've got Benidorm in a week and two days obviously there'll be no videos then although I will be making a vlog and turn it into a little five minute video so you can see what I've got up to in Benidorm maybe you'll be interested <laughs> I just can't wait I can't wait but anyway thank you I hope you're happy hope you're safe and I hope to see you again. I'm booed. Bye-bye.